दिस इज आधारपुर विलेज आधारपुर इज द स्तूपर एंड श्राइनिंग आनंद हाफ बॉडी रिलिक्स एंड दीज आर द लिचवीज फोक्स ऑफ आधारपुर द लिचवीज दे आर दास्ट ऑफ भूम यार्ड फोक्स एंड दिस इज फील्ड जस्ट नेक्स्ट टू आनंद हाफ बॉडी रिलिक्स ऑफ द लिचवीज वी आर दिस इज अगेन आधारपुर आधारपुर इज द half body uh, relics took off the lichwis the village is settled on it and this is a people tree next to the what do you call it adharpur where the people uh, are living on top of anand's half body uh, relic stupa of the lichwis in fact they are the lichwis folks how i came to this conclusion that adharpur is anand's half body relic stupa of the lichwi adharpur or nandpur sir folks then uh, to understand it view this entire video till the end now my buddhist friends we all know the story of what you call it uh, anand he was uh, very dejected after the buddha's death and he was very sad sari putra had died mahamau mogliana was murdered a third ajnata kondinya had died folks and the buddha had attained mahaparinirvana it was it was a big shift from the good old days so he was dejected and the lichvis invited him when he was crossing the river towards vaishali from magadh आजाद शत्रु के विथ हिज आर्मी एंड स्टार्ट शाउटिंग की कम बैक कम बैक यू स्टे विथ अस एंड वेन द लिचवीज हर्ड दैट आजाद शत्रु वॉज कॉलिंग हिम बैक ही दे वेंट विद दे आर्मी एंड स्टार्ट टेलिंग हिम को नो यू कम अकॉर्डिंग टू योर ओरिजिनल प्लान सो आनंद गेट्स एंग्री कि दीज पीपल दे आर नॉट फॉलोइंग द बुद्धज लॉ he gets angry he say he tells his disciples that he is going to commit suicide to divide his relics into two parts or dump one in the north for the lichwis and dump one in the south for uh, the uh, magad so the uh, the uh, the uh, half the relics are dumped in the north which the lichwis take and they make a stupa now this is just near the kapala shrine folks near dularpur I told you in my another video that Dularpur is the Kapala shrine. Uh, Kapala is a mispronunciation of Dularpur. Folks, near the Kapala shrine is Adharpur. Adhar means half. See, the Lichwis got half of the relics. Now, which half did they get? Did they get the upper half or the lower half? Well, uh, they made a stupa on the spot where they picked up the relics from. north of the ganges on the northern banks and that stupa is called uh, what do you call it anand gola gola means a stupa a circular thing stupa and that is anand gola and they brought back the uh, uh, what they made the stupa brought back the relics and enshrined it in a stupa in vaishali that is pidhauli and it was ne near kapala near what do you call it your dularpur that is adharpur they had got half of the relics so folks and they had uh, named their stupa on the northern banks of the ganges uh, anand uh, golwa because they had got the upper half the facial part the chest part the facial part and uh, what you call a south of the ganges where the magad magadens uh, uh, picked up the relics they made a stupa called athmal gola mal means the shitty part they got the bottom part so folks uh, uh, the lichwis brought it to vaishali and enshrined it in adharpur adharpur is the stupa in which what you call it um, anand's half body relic stupa is the upper part now uh what do you call it how do you recognize the upper part how do you know it is the upper part well all stupas are meant to be prayed to not to live on so there had to be a sangrama nearby where the monks could stay who were in charge of the stupa and where the what do you call it um uh, where the pilgrims could stay folks just next to adharpur around 3000 feet away from adharpur is nandpur swarup nand is a short form of anand 
नंदपुर स्वरूप स्वरूप इज हिज फेशियल फीचर्स द फेशियल फीचर्स ऑफ आनंद सो दे गॉट द संग्रामा गिव्स अवे द गेम दैट दे गॉट द फेशियल फीचर्स ऑफ आनंद द टॉप हाफ ऑफ आनंद बॉडी सो फोक्स इन आधारपुर इज द टॉप हाफ पार्ट ऑफ आनंद बॉडी चेक आउट द वीडियो ऑफ चेक आउट वॉट जैंग जैंग हैज टू से and then uh, see it in satellite pictures where adharpur is and then uh, the video it's now let's see where anand's body uh, half body relic stupa is by the side of the preaching hall and not far from it is a stupa which contains the relics of the half body of anand by the side of which preaching hall well the preaching hall this is dularpur preaching hall Dularpur. This is uh, where the Buddha uttered the Samanta Dharni, uh, Samanta Mukha Dharni Sutra, folks. That is Dularpur, which I showed you. And by the side of the preaching hall, and uh, not far from it, is a stupa which contains the relics of the full body of Anand. So, folks, here it is. <coughs> Let's see. Here is Dularpur. This is the preaching hall. In fact, uh, the turrets are still can still be seen. See, and this is the what do you call it? Foundation of that hall. And uh, where the Samant Mukha Dharni uh, Sutra was preached by the Buddha. And by the side of that is. What do you call it? Uh, what do you call it? The half body relic stupa of Anand, folks. This is yeah, Adharpur. That is Dularpur. The uh, the temple is here. Temple is here, but the village is here. And this is your Adharpur. Adha means half. This is the half body relic stupa of Anand. and folks the what do you call it uh, this is nandpur swarup this is the what do you call it sangrama in charge see it, it has taken the name of anand straight nandpur swarup swarup means his facial features and this is ratgaon the house of ratnakara ratnakara made the sangrama next to his house so folks this is your Adhar to check out the pictures of the half bodies to relic stupa of. Anand. Okay, now folks, we are in Adhar to. We are standing on top of the Lichmi's half body relic stupa of the Lichmi's. Folks, this is Adhar to, which is the Lichmi's half body relic stupa. Now, Adhar means half. Adhar means half. And uh, basically, see these boys are uh, yeah, of the Dingwei goat, which I have um, uh, stated is the Lichwei's. Li Cha Wei Di Ge Wei. So Lichwei is Zhang Zhang, the Chinese mispronunciation of Dingwei. And see, this is a bamboo rope just outside the uh, what do you call it, uh, half body belly stupa of Anand, which is. at heart now we all know the story of anand ji when he was crossing the river both the armies came on the north and south bank see this is again we are a small alleyway on the village in the village which is on top of anand's half body there is uh, which is at heart so this is at heart to village it is on top of anand's half body relic stupa So, what do you call it? Anand, he gets angry when he sees both the army from both sides and commits suicide. And he tells his uh, followers to divide his relics in two halves, or dump one half on the northern bank of the Ganges for the Lichmi's, and the other half, see, this is this is again another scene of Adhar Pur, and uh, the Lich to uh, the southern banks for the people of Magadh, the northern banks. The Lich Mi King he makes a stupa on that spot, and he brings the uh, uh, relics to Pitauri, which is mispronounced as Shadi, 
Let's see, these are all photos and photographs of Al Harku. He enshrines it get in this stupa. He enshrines it in this stupa. And the stupa had a name because the people who used to come on pilgrimage, they had to know which part of whose body they were paying homage to. So this is Aadhar too. This is half body relic of Aadhar. Aadhar means, Aadha means half. So this is the half body relic stupa. See, this is the stupa itself. The village has settled on it. But Buddhists, you are lucky the villages have settled on it because by doing so, they have kept the name of the stupa alive for a thousand years or so. By settling on the stupas, they have kept the names alive so that now in satellite pictures, when I search for the stupa in the Vaishali area, the name pops up. A name recognizable. Aadhar means half. Yes, this is uh, what you call it? Anand's half body. Relic stupa. Folks, so this is uh, the stupa and uh, the king enshrines it here. And these people are the Gitwe Gitwe Gotra. Gitwe is mispronounced as Mitchell by the Chinese. So, what you call it? And uh, the village deity is Andari Baba, which is none other than uh, Anand himself. See, Anand was in charge of the bhandar of the uh, sun. He was in charge of, you know, of the food, of the meals, every meat. So that is called bhandar. And secondly, he was a treasure trove of the Buddha's teachings. He was, a, what do you call it, a sort of a warehouse, a go-down full of the uh, Buddha's teaching, that's why he was called Bhandari. Bhandari means a larder, well-stocked larder, and Bhandari is a person in charge of that. So this is, uh, what you call it, uh, Anand's job was that, to accept all the, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, the uh, alms which uh, the shoes brought back, and then to distribute the food which was cooked, and he did everything for the Buddha. So he is Bhandari Baba, and, but unfortunately, to swerve things away from Buddhism, this is my, uh, what do you call it, uh, uh, this is my uh, assessment, that to swerve things away from Buddhism, they have given Bhandari, the, the name Bhandari to Shiva. It is another name of Shiva, so that, you know, the confusion is created. Now these people pray to Bhandari Baba, but uh, what do you call it, they think it is Shiva. So, but uh, now that I know that, uh, uh, what do you call it, Anand's relics are in uh, this, uh, uh, inside, you know, below this uh, stupa, I know Bhandari Baba is none other than Anand. In fact, I have got proof that it, this is Anand. Uh, because uh, in another village, the Brahmins make the people uh, do away with Bhandari. So if they can do away, they can't do away with it. But that means there is something hanky tanky. Anyway, that is for uh, later research. Uh, for now, this is Adhar uh, uh, Ku, Anand's half body, the Nixtipa of the Nixmis. Folks, I hope you found this video uh, educative. If you did so, Please follow, like and subscribe to this page with the exhume and don't forget to tell your friends and relatives about this page. Thank you.